Okay, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I will be taking this, this image here of a logo that I created in Illustrator, and I will be transporting it or inputting it into Cinema 4D for a 3D effect. And as you can see, the uh, text here has already been outlined. And the shape here is just uh, something I created the middle of the text. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and save this out as an Illustrator 8 file. This is what you're going to um, import into Cinema 4D. Just scroll down and go to Illustrator 8 and uh, disregard all the ones. So just go ahead and save that out. Click OK, which I've already done. So at this point, I go ahead and I'm going to close out Illustrator. Just going quick and open up Cinema 4D. There we go. And now I need to go ahead and find my file and I'm just going to drag and drop it into Cinema 4D. It's pretty easy if I can find it. There we go. And this is okay. Just going to click OK. And there we go. This is our outlined, splined logo. We need to extrude it, of course. Let me open this up. It's in a group, and you see all these splines here, all these paths. It's for each letter. Yep, there's the Y, there's the C, there's the N. And what we're going to do here is, in order to extrude this, you go up to the you get your extrude nerves and you will take one of the paths and actually just drop it into the extrude nerves and boom, there you go. But we have to do that to every path one at a time. So the easiest way to do this is to select them all and go up to objects and then connect and delete. And what that is going to do is just going to combine them all and then just get rid of that extra stuff. And you just dump it into the two nerves and there you go. And now we're going to click on the cap so we can uh, go ahead and uh, smooth out the hard edges there. And I'm using three steps and it smooths out the edges as you can see. In a nice round edge, and then go to the end, which is actually the back, and do the same thing so that the back of the image can also have smooth edges. And it's great for animation if you're going to show the back of the image, if you're not to show the back, then it really doesn't matter. All right, that was pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and get us some material by double clicking. And we go ahead and change the uh, color here, maybe to a bluish, purplish, something, something. I don't know. That looks about right. And then we're going to go ahead and lower the mix strength so we can actually see our color. And of course, we want to give it a little reflection. That's way too much. Yeah, yeah, that's way too much. Let's go ahead and drop it down to about uh, 17 or so. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And let's go ahead and drop it on to the object itself. Let's see how that looks. Mm, that's a decent color. Let's go ahead and get the plane, get the floor, and bring it all up to the text. Position it. We're going to want this to, um, to just reflect out the logo. So you grab those little cubes and that can resize it. The arrows, of course, will change the position. And we want it to. The uh, plane to kind of 
straight out into the, to the back. And for the floor, I'm going to go ahead and instead of giving it a color, I'm going to go ahead and give it a gradient because I want it to have a color on the inside and kind of fade out to dark. So, I think what we're looking for is a 2D gradient. I think it's 2D circular. Yep, that's what we're looking for. And of course, we need a little reflection so we can see the logo. And I'm going to make this one a little stronger than the logo itself. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks good, but it's, I want it to look closer to the text, so I'll just blend it up some. It's up a little too high, I'm going to drop it just a second. I could actually zoom in and get, do this a little better, but this, this should do it. Yep, hit up edge. You can see my edges are are white and I actually want them to fit up to dark, so I've got to change that. Just click on it and you just change the position of these color here. And I think this white is actually a little too bright. I mean, I'm going to drop it down some. Go ahead and change it. It's gray. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, I think I'll change it just. Let's try a color. Try a purplish color. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, yeah, I like that even better. Uh, typically what I would do from this point, I mean that was pretty simple, but I would actually take it and maybe do some type of animation um, and then of course uh, put it into After Effects and really, really jam this thing up, jazz it up a lot. So um, feel free to do that with your projects and this is pretty simple. Get your 3D effect on your logo. Till next time.